Hello, everyone. As some of you may know, Pride Month is coming up. And as a queer medieval peasant, I thought I should engage. And when I was designing the Seven Deadly Sins recently, you know, I was designing the one for Pride. And I was like, well, that also works for Pride Month, like a sort of like lion inspired costume. We're really trying not to spend any money, just pulling from what we already have in our closet. We know we have this hat, which can be like the top half of a lion mane. And then we've had this neck ruff for a while. Turtleneck. Gotta have a turtleneck. It's Pride Month. And then I have this jumpsuit, which I got pre-plague and just never used it. Let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so we put this on. No one would accuse us of it being a success yet. But as I was getting dressed, I was like, I didn't even mention sleeves. What is, who am I? So we're going to put on some sleeves, of course. And I think change this hood to red. So it connects to the jumpsuit. Um, is it saying lion? No. Have I ever seen a lion in my life? No. So it's an easy out. I've got these half masks, which I'm going to grab. Yeah, we need to connect our mane and then embellish the jumpsuit. Okay, this could be something. So we had that first costume fitting and now I wanted to show you the changes that we made after that. The hat, we had the ruffles on top and then I just took some of them off and added them around the bottom. And once it's on, it looks something like this. Lion mane, check. I had bought a 20 pack of just some white plain mask for my puppet show, but I never used them. And I thought this is my chance. There's this like little black ribbon nose. This is what it looks like when it's on. In that first fitting, the sleeves were so big that it felt kind of like disrespectful to my legs. So I went in and added with some elastic thread, some like points where the fabric gets gathered in. We didn't lose any fabric from the sleeve. We just sort of steered it into a more intentional direction, which I like. It's kind of like lion muscles. I know I came on strong with the turtleneck belief system, but it was a little bulky under the jumpsuit. So we have this crop top. I added some ball fringe to the bottom. And I don't really know what you'd call this neckline. It's almost a turtleneck. We changed the gloves to these shorter, more yellow ones, and we did add tassels. Also, I traded out the socks for these red leg warmers because I thought we needed a little bit more girth around the ankle. And on the jumpsuit, we started by adding this yellow ribbon in cascading loops. And then I went in and added these gold tassels. And then I added these darker, more upholstery tassels. And at that point I was like, do I need a therapist? And you guys have seen, I have this great big red tassel. So we added that as the tail. <laughs> the component that I'm most excited about are these shoes. They have this white sole that I wanted to cover up. I didn't want to paint it. So I thought tassels, of course. And then it's a soft enough shoe that I could just I think that's fascinating. I believe that's all the parts. So now we just put it on. And, <laughs> and here is the lion all assembled. You know, there's a lot going on, isn't there? I think it helps when I stand up. Yeah, the tassels, they need room to breathe. Oh, yeah. So we are ready for pride. For me, this is like a great alternative to a tank top, which I don't have the confidence to wear. And you know, Pride Month can bring out a lot of different emotions in people in the queer community. And whatever you're feeling is legitimate to you, as if I should be giving out mental health advice right now. But anyways, happy Pride to everyone. I will talk to you soon. Whoa.